Okay, so right now I want to talk about putting her on ice. Okay, why ignoring her makes her chase you and why this is so, so powerful for creating attraction with the opposite sex, right? Putting the girl on ice, letting her know that you are not going to tolerate her bad behavior. You are not going to put up with her being flaky, ghosting you, texting you when it's only convenient for her and not you, treating you like your name is Stanley, right? No offense if your name is Stanley, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm getting at. Treating you like your name is Eugene, okay? You have to put her on ice. There are times where these girls will act up, start treating you like crap, okay? Because you're just being a little too nice, you're just being a little too supplicative towards her, you're feeding her, e her ego just a little too much, and now she's starting to take you for granted, all right? She's not texting as much, she's not calling as much, she's not wanting to go out as much and when she does she kind of shows up late these are the times that you are going to need to put her on ice okay and you're going to need to withdraw your attention you're going to need to withdraw your physical presence so that she can feel that you're gone she can feel that she's losing you and she can regain the value that she once had for you the respect she once had for you Okay, and sometimes, I mean, this can kind of be compared to dread game in some ways or what I like to call intermittent attention where I sometimes I give the girls, the girls, uh, I'm seeing intermittent attention, but usually when I do that, it's not because I'm trying to do it because they're acting bad or anything like that. It's generally I do it because I'm so busy and because it's so powerful, right? So it's not like I'm trying to do it as a technique. Never do these things as a technique, right? When you do these things as a technique, they do not work. This is why I tell you guys, you must become the game. Don't just learn the game, become the game. Live the game. Make it a part of who you are, okay? Even if you're not gaming girls out there, use it in your business. Use it to become a better man. Use it to get into better shape, to increase the amount of money you have in your bank account, okay? You should be practicing these things daily, using game on yourself because pick up is a lifestyle, as I always say, right? But for these girls, especially in today's world where these chicks are heavily, heavily indoctrinated by uh, feminist values and they are super, super entitled, even if you're here in the Western world, these girls are so, so entitled, it's insane, right? These are the girls, the most, that need to be put on ice and it takes a man with balls of steel to do it, to put them on ice, because that's it's just not something every guy can do. Most guys aren't wired for it. This is why I say, you know, guys without pickup training, guys without training in game, it's, you know, I mean, unless you're a complete natural, it's very, very difficult to live this way because you're, you know, without training, you're constantly gonna be second guessing yourself and caring about what others are thinking about you, what other people are saying about you, how the rest of the tribe feels about you, will they kick me out of their little social group if I start acting this way? You know, you're constantly gonna be in your head without training, but once you've had pickup training, game training, you really get out of your head and you start not to care what anybody else has to say about you, right? You, you stop living for other people's opinions and you start living for your own. Right? It's more important how you feel about yourself, feeling good in your own body and grounded in your own energy than it is to please people that you'll never ever please. Even if you are doing the right thing, they'll always find something to nitpick about. Right? You're, not, you're never going to please anybody but yourself. So now's the time to do that. Right? And uh, if you're dating a girl who is not treating you right and is demonstrating bad behavior. As I tell you guys, never reward bad behavior, right? That's the worst thing you can do. If she is just not paying you any respect, praise or admiration at all, and she's just doing a bunch of things that you don't like, okay, whether it's mouthing off to you, talking back to you, constantly challenging everything you do, you say, 
constantly questioning your leadership, then you know what you gotta do? You got to put her on ice, okay? P-H-O-I, put her on ice and let her know that, hey, I don't need to tolerate this and then just go do your own thing for a while, okay? Go do your own thing, ghost her for a little while and let her get her thoughts together. Let her regain her respect and value for you while you go do your own thing. What you should be doing in that time is exploring your other dating options because if a girl's already treating you like that, you should start exploring your other dating options, right? It's like if your car keeps breaking down on you, keeps leaking oil, keeps leaving you on the side of the road, at some point, you're gonna get tired of sinking money into that car. You're gonna get tired of having to tow that car every time you take it out. You're gonna get tired of having to take time off from work because you gotta take the car to the shop. You're gonna get tired of doing those things and then you're going to start exploring your options, right? You're gonna start seeing what other cars are available that won't do this to me. Is there a car that's better looking than this car, more reliable? You're gonna start doing those things, okay? No different in relationship. When this chick ain't treating you right and she's making you not feel good in your own body, she's not making you feel more of a man but less of a man, it's a bad sign too. When she doesn't make you feel like a better man but a worse man, that's the time you gotta put her on ice, right? Unless you're just gonna cut her off completely but this is the first step, is putting her on ice. It's kind of like if you're somebody's manager at a job. First step, you gotta write them up, right? They're like not doing what they're supposed to at their job, you gotta write them up. It's a first warning, right? You're gonna put her on ice. And then you're gonna see how she performs after that. Like, is she gonna shape up? Is she showing signs of improvement? Or is she just never gonna change? Because if she's never going to change and she's always going to treat you this way, then it's time to move on to those other options that you've been exploring while you ghosted her, while you were putting her on ice. Okay? Uh, for me personally, I don't like to just cut girls right off unless they're doing something really horrendous I don't like. Usually if they're just kind of acting out a little bit or just getting a little too nitpicky or you know just starting to devalue me in any way, shape or form, I will put them on ice, do my own thing. Maybe it'll only take a few days. Sometimes it takes a few weeks. One girl, it even took a couple of months. I just ghosted her, didn't talk to her. Then she finally came around and she saw my point and she was like, I could see where I got this wrong and I could see where you might have misunderstood and blah, blah, blah. And she, she reached out and tried to work it out with me. And we continued our relationship. Now, what did she continue acting the way she was? Not to the extent that she did previously before I put her on ice, right? But then after that, I had to put her on ice again for a few weeks and then she got a little bit better and a little bit better. But you know what? She wouldn't have got better at all if I didn't put her on ice. She wouldn't have treated me with even more like the level of respect and value that she does now had I not had the balls, the balls of steel to put this hot girl on ice and let her know, hey, I don't need you to function in life. I am an independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant, grown ass man and I don't need you, right, to function in life. I can live my life just fine without you. And that is the message that you send when you put these girls on ice. When you let them know like, hey, you know, I am not willing to tolerate this. This is not okay with me. This is not making me a better man. Okay, I do not feel good when I am with you. You have to communicate these things and let her know like, you're just not gonna put up with it because if you don't and you let her walk on you like a doormat and you know, treat you however she wants, she will. So I teach all my self-development students, people will act as good as they need to, especially women, okay? This is especially true for women. They will only act as good as they need to. This is why all those girls that you bought flowers for, that you sacrificed for, that you, you know, pushed your own life aside for, this is why those girls never appreciated you. She treated you piss poorly because there was no reason for her to act any better than she needed to in order to keep you there, right? You were willing to put up with all of her 
shenanigans and you stayed. So she kept dishing it out, right? Because people will act as good as they need to. So there will be times where, you know what? These girls will test you a little too hard and a little too often and a little too much more than what is necessary. And when that happens, you got to let her know you ain't going to tolerate it. And the way that you let her know is by putting her on ice. P-H-O-I. And with that said, I'm going to wrap up here. Until next time, this is M from the 33 Secrets. Do not forget to smash that like button below. Also, hit that notification bell right next to it so that you are notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on my YouTube. Okay? And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill content that I am teaching you guys even further, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, the same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students are out there approaching and closing every single week in every part of the world. I am not kidding you. I have students in every part, all four corners of the world now, right? And these guys are out there gaming all the time with success and getting the girls that they want to in their lives. They're not settling. They're not, you know, like most of our high school and college friends are where they just kind of you know didn't learn this stuff so they settled for the first like semi cute semi fat semi pudgy okay looking girl in their social circle no when you learn this stuff you will not have to settle for that you will be able to get a bomb ass girl who is above what you're used to getting out there right an 8 9 or 10 inch your life and many many more like her you won't be stuck settling for that one that one cute girl in your social circle. Instead, you'll have an abundance of options to choose from. And right now, it's only $1 to get into seven months of mastery. It's only one buck and it's real easy to sign up. All you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.